the the big shout out has been a fantastic lift for the, the team. It's, it's a new team that we formed to uh, have what we're calling the Access Centre for Podiatry. And we've got four full-time members of staff uh, who are admin uh, staff. And then we've got about another 12 podiatrists who are involved in the team. And they're doing the, the triage, but, but that's done virtually around about. But on site in uh, Coat Hill Hospital, where we've built the, the Access Hub, so that all the patients can either phone in, email in, written referrals, whatever format they want, they, they all get centralised into the, the hub, which is based at Coat Hill. And the, the four admin uh, uh, members of staff there are really, really good. They've been really great at uh, coming up with the, the right ways of, and the processes for it. And that's the project's been running since about last May when we started. And it's been fantastic. It's made such a big impact on the waiting times for podiatry. Podiatry, we were at about uh, 16 weeks at one point. Uh, and then since we've put in the new ACRT, which is the clinical triage system that we're, we're using, uh, that's come the way down to, on average, we're about four weeks longest wait at the moment for our, our waiting times. Our target was to hit 95% uh, of all appointments by, uh, what do you call it, 12 weeks, but we've managed to uh, reduce that further down to four weeks, which is actually the national MSK target, so we're treating everybody in the same way uh, that we can see all of the, the patients. Uh, within uh, the four weeks, that's what our next aim is. Most of the, the, the staff in it have only been started with us uh, just over six months and they've been a great team. They're really working really hard, uh, well together. One of the, the major advantages of having one single point of contact is that all we've got open referral as well, so we're happy to take referrals directly from uh, the public as well. So anybody that's got a foot pathology, we've got a sore foot they give us a ring and we can sort them off in the right management plan. That has really meant that we're saving GP time and other colleagues in primary care because uh, they don't have to go and get a referral or a letter or anything like that. It's open referral and we're happy to take the, those referrals directly and then we can manage the patients, uh, give them priority uh, to the, obviously the patients that have got a red hot swollen foot. We're happy to see that within two working days and uh, anybody else, more routine things, we'll see within about four to six weeks at the moment, uh, which has been really good. Uh, it's made a big difference for uh, the, the public and a big difference for uh, like managing the, some of the pressures in like GP practices and things like that, because there's no need to go to the GP anymore for uh, routine uh, podiatry. So the Access Hub uh, podiatry team have been fantastic. The admin component of them have worked really hard over the last six to eight months, uh, pulling the service together. They've been one of the best people uh, to work with. They all work really hard, really well, and they really need a big shout out for them because they've made such a difference to us. I reckon we've made between 30 and 40% efficiencies because of that team working so well. So thanks very much. We've used the modern outpatient approach um, to put in place ACRT patient initiated review and our call centre approach. The impact that it's had on services is that staff now spend more time with patients than on admin tasks. Hi, I'm Peter McCrossan, I'm the Director of Allied Health Professions for the NHS Lanarkshire. Uh, I'm most impressed with the dedication and the skills of the staff within the hub. Uh, they have everything uh, down to a T and I'm aware of the increasing capacity that this hub has brought and the reduction in the waiting times which has really been quite uh, substantial and it's an area where I'm keen to develop the hub approach in other HP uh, professions uh, because I think it lends itself nicely as a model to increasing the capacity across all services. We still have a number of HP services who are uh, facing substantial waiting times and I think by introducing a hub approach that will certainly help them as well. We know just now that the organisation is under immense pressure. We see it at the front door of the hospitals, we see it within our GP practices and these types of tests of change allow uh, staff to have a big impact that can then be rolled out to other areas of the organisation 
and obviously the, the, the critical mass that it then brings just makes the, the whole uh, organisation work that bit more smoothly. I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank the Hub team who have been instrumental in bringing this project to life and also thanks is also due to uh, Jamie Quinn, the Head of Podiatry and Claire James, the Deputy Head of Podiatry. Special mention is also uh, needs to be made of Nicola Smith who is the team leader for the Podiatry Hub. Now without all these people's interventions the Hub would not be the success it is and I, they are so deserving of having a big shout out. So thank you very much indeed.